Just we played together that game. We had energy throughout the whole nine innings. We didn't play three innings good, take three innings off. We just kept going the whole game. Played together as a team. So it's easy to just give up after those first two games, like heartbreakers. But it just shows how tough we are mentally. And just got back, get a couple wins. It was really good. Yeah, I just had to stay ready. It was it sucks that Brooks that hurt his hand, but just everybody on the bench was ready to go. Cal too. Big weekend, and I knew I'd get my chance. Just had to stay ready, be a good teammate. Uh, that felt really good, actually. Um, I don't know. I was just battling. Got the two strikes, and just kind of happened. Just reacted. So glad I got that one. Thank you. Yeah, it feels good. It feels good. We we stuck together after two losses. Kind of came together in the locker room. Talked about some things without the coaches, just as a team, and got back on track. Uh, just staying behind each other, knowing we put in so much work that we're capable of doing it. We just got to trust and stay behind each other. It felt good. It helped. We were studying their film, studying their pitchers, knew they were going to throw some lefties, and kind of just things happened, and it went well. I felt good moving around from second and third base, kind of playing both positions. Felt pretty comfortable, and hitting-wise, I feel like I've, got, I've found a little bit more of a groove from the first series and kind of stuck with it. Well, we uh, pitched better, you know, the starting pitching was good, really the, the last three starts that we had, and then offense was better. I mean, our offense today swung the bats pretty good, and unfortunately after the fourth, we just kind of went through the motions. That's the hardest part about coaching is just when you get a big lead to continue to have the good at bats, we kind of let them hang around a little bit. But um, that was good. I mean, our offense is starting to come together a little bit. I mean. We've obviously, you know, had quite a few guys get hurt, and so it's allowed us to give a couple guys opportunities. I and mean, there's a couple guys that played pretty well for us the last couple of days that really didn't play at all in the first 10-11 games. So that's that's good. I mean, that we got guys got some depth, and uh, those guys have earned the right to stay in there and play. So it's good to see Walsh and Chacon both uh, step up and do some good things for us. Yeah, I mean, he, you know, he had a pretty good fall. You know, it was one of those things where it's just we got we got a lot of good players, and we had some kids that came in, the outfielders that. Uh, you know, have had some pretty good careers before they got here and, and played really well this fall, and so they kind of got their chances first. And um, you know, a couple of them got hurt, and uh, so they got some opportunities to get in there. And um, you know, he, he's a strong kid that you know didn't complain, didn't whine, just kept working hard. And when he got his chance, he's taking advantage of it. Yeah, I mean, he's a really good hitter. I mean, he was third or fourth in the NWAC in hitting, which is junior college league up in the Northwest. I mean, they got 30 some teams, so he can hit. He led us this fall in hitting. Um, you know, at the beginning of the year, he was getting some hits, but it wasn't you know quite the same as it looked. Um, you know, this fall. And then, you know, we just dropped him in the order a little bit. Caleb was swinging the bat pretty well and moved him back up to the two hole. So it allowed us to put him back behind some of those other good hitters that we have. And he's really taken off. And um, he's a really good hitter. I mean, he's uh, he gives us a chance every time he, he put out there. He could play third or second and probably more comfortable at second. And so, um, yeah, he swung the bat really well this weekend. Yeah, he pitched well. I mean, he really just had the one inning. You know, I mean, we scored a bunch of runs and then he kind of <laughs> let up. I mean, that happens. I mean, I don't know why. Between 18 and 23 year old kids, like sometimes it just doesn't happen. Like happens. I mean, we score runs, and then you just got to go find a way to get that zero, and kind of add a little bit of a lax. Uh, but then he was able to bounce back and go put up some zeros for us in those other endings and get us through those.